Today we have, we have a problem. We have a brand new washing machine and the outflow discharge is too much for the existing plumbing. So we're going to upgrade it and uh, make it safe by adding a trap because the existing did not have a trap involved. This discharge goes into this one inch copper that reduces down to three, in, three quarter inch copper and then down into the, the, cement, the cement slab. So uh, we're not going to chase it too far back. We're going we're gonna to cut this pipe here and add it from this location. I'm going to cut it right here. We made a trip to the local Home Depot. We picked up some plies for this task. Uh, we grabbed a uh, number of elbows, four elbows, and a 10 foot length of the one inch PVC. We got a three quarter inch shark bite, that'll, a female threaded end. We have this connector that we're going to use to clamp the discharge hose to this fitting here. And that should be keep it pressurized so the water will keep going down the drain. We have the, the primer and the glue for the PVC pipe. We bought a hacksaw. And we also have some drywall screws to, and some clamps to uh, secure the pipe to the wall. Uh, make it safer and hopefully last longer. The drill we're going to use to put the drywall screws through the clamps to secure it to the wall. Uh, obviously we're going to start with removing the discharge hose from the existing plumbing. And our next step, we have to cut the old copper tubing so we can begin to build it from there. We're going to take it about an inch below this, cop, this solder and uh, Start off there with a hacksaw. We don't have a tubing cutter with us, which would have made it a little easier. So we're going to use the hacksaw, cut about an inch below the solder line, and then begin the, the construction. Yeah, where we cut the pipe, it's still filled with water. So it gives us uh, the impression that it's still a blockage somewhere in the, uh, the system. We're just going to stick, a, uh, use a, a coat hanger just to see if there's any obstructions down there. Nothing from here to the elbow. Yeah, we found this. there's still water in the, uh, the drain pipe. So we're gonna take a shot back and blow air through it and see if we can uh, remove the obstruction. Right, we're gonna add some more water to see if, um, see if we fill it back up or if it's flowing freely. Well, we added some liquid plumber and some boiling water and uh, we used the shop vac on exhaust and we blew through it. It's still slow, but it's improved on what it was. So we're going to build from this point and the pressure from the washer we are hoping will push through. The assembly by putting Teflon tape on the threads of the adapter. Now uh, the Teflon tape seals the threads. Um, it makes a, a leak proof seal. So next we'll be threading the, uh, the shock bite fitting over the threads. When I applied the Teflon tape, I went in the direction that you would when you tighten. I'm going to take a measurement from the old existing pipes and uh, put it to the same height it was. So I'm going to go 22 inches up and 42 inches across. We'll cut all the lengths that we need, dry fit it, make sure it's accurate, then we'll start gluing it after that, make it permanent. There wasn't a trap on the existing uh, plumbing, so we're going to install a trap now. Help prevent the soil gases from coming up. We just used uh, 390 degree elbows to create a trap. That way there'll always be water sitting in there and it won't allow gas to come back up through the uh, the drain line. We used um, some nipples and the elbows to create the trap. These short pieces of pipe are referred to as nipples. No giggling. <laughs> so I'm gonna, uh, to ensure a proper fit, we, we haven't glued anything together yet, but I'm gonna take my measurement from here. So now I'll cut right over here and uh, then complete the dry fit and make sure we're happy before anything gets glued together. Here we have it all dry fit. 
and we're, we're looking at our results. It's good to go. So uh, we'll take it apart and glue it together, then uh, put it back on the pipe here. Right here we have the, the primer and the cement. Uh, the primer is a cleaner and it gets it ready for the cement to adhere to the plastic. So uh, we unscrew it, take the dauber out, clean the inside of the fitting, clean the end of the pipe, then apply the cement. And we'll do to each joint, same way each time. In order to attach the washer discharge hose to our new plumbing, we're gonna to have to trim this down so it'll accept both this and this. Okay, this is this is an adaptable. It can reduce down to different sizes. We don't need the smaller sizes. So we're gonna trim it so it fits our need. So just a reminder to put the clamps on first before you put the rubber adapter piece on. That way you don't have to take it apart to redo it. Now for the easiest access, access I'm going to have the, the screw head facing upward. That way it doesn't get lost behind the, the unit. Now we're going to attach these two together and tighten the final clamp. This is the shock bite fitting that I mentioned earlier. This, all we have to do is press onto the, the copper tubing and it's done. No soldering, no tightening. It's just pushed down and it's done. It works on pressure and uh, the pressure holds it together and seals it up tight. Here we go, just placing it on the, the tubing, pushing it in place, and that's all it took. That is done. We're going to use the uh, clamp we took off that held the, uh, the old system. That way it gives us clearance on the uh, the hot and cold water feeds. So we'll, we'll use this for the, uh, the horizontal piece and we'll use these for the vertical piece. Because drainage and plumbing works by gravity, we need a slight downhill on this piece. So you want to keep that in mind when you're putting the, the uh, pipe clamp on. We're putting a block of wood as a spacer to keep the pipes off the, uh, the water feeds and it gives us a little more working clearance at the top. The last task we have is to glue on this adapter. I just, oh, that sucks. Okay, now we're priming the, the top of the drain pipe. Everything's connected, and we're gonna test it now by uh, doing a load of laundry. Well, the washer just drained. We have no leaks, so we're gonna call it a success, except for the purple stain. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching this video. For our next video, we're doing some uh, drywall water damage repair. So we'll be cutting out the old damaged drywall and replacing it with some new stuff. Taping it and painting it, and then completing this laundry closet. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'll be sure to get back to them as soon as I can.